University of Benin, and Professor Jadis Sola Akondi um, of the Lagos State University. Women are similarly making waves in medicine, pharmacy, nursing and midwifery, architecture, social sciences, peer and applied sciences, banking and finance, law, engineering, among others. What about women like Professor Bola Leaway of the famous Institute of African Studies, novelist Flora Mwapa and um, Buchi Mechita, or Priscilla Kuye, president of the Nigerian Bar Association, Tony Olakuri, president, Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, Folake Sholanke, first female senior advocate of Nigeria, Ungozi Ukonjo, we are the first female finance minister and now managing director of World Bank Group, Obi Ezekwesili, Madam Due Process and Vice President of World Bank, to name a few. The civil services also boast of women who are holding decision-making positions, including in the directorate cadre and as permanent secretaries, although not in constitutional position. Our first ladies have been not been idle in their collective march to Paris. <coughs> From the largely ceremonial roles of the First and Second Republics to the mid 1980s, the women folk in the State House took a historic leap into national affairs and development with the tenure of Her Excellency Dr. Miriam Babangida. Starting off this celebrated Better Life program, government was persuaded to set up commissions for women at the federal and state levels, which metamorphosed into the Ministry of Women Affairs that we have today. Since then, wives of heads of states and state governors among have initiated and run programs that focus on women, youth, children, and the underprivileged with varying degrees of success and impact. Our young women and girls have also continued to do us proud in various fields of endeavor. They have won recognitions and laurels as authors, performing artists, students, and also I met a young lady here who I was told sings. Um, I'm really very proud to hear that. Yes, Ebo. Yes, yes, and I'm really proud to hear about that. And um, we have um, sports persons as well. It was a young woman, um, Chioma Anjuma, who gave us our only individual Olympic gold medal to date. Although our girls continue to sweep medals at various competitions, the senior female football team, Falcons, have not only dominated the game on the African continent, but featured in every female World Cup competition. At the under 20 and under 17 levels, our female teams have recently won a silver medal and quarter-final place, respectively, in global competitions. These attainments are in spite of the relative neglect to female football in the country. At the institutional level, women have also taken and implemented quite a number of legal um, initiatives on the platform of, of non-governmental NGOs, um, CPOs, community-based organizations, civil society organizations, CSOs, and professional bodies and associations. We must continue to applaud the critical roles being played by the National Council of Women's Society, National Association of Women Journalists, and Federation of International Women Lawyers. For Nigerian women, these past five decades, it has been a labor of love for the men folk children and the society at large. Clearly, the role of women in national development has not been plain sailing. Impressive as the attainments are, Nigerian women have always been confronted by severe constraints inherent in a female male-dominated society. Cases of intense discrimination against women and girls are not uncommon while the opportunities reward profiles of our society are heavily skewed in favor of males. This is despite the fact that the most recent 2006 National Population Census reveals that female outnumber men at the rate of 51% to 49% respectively. In public office, the disparity are very clear. 
According to the Office of the Head of the Civil Service of the Federation, the percentage distribution of male, female and male federal civil servants between 2001 and 2006 were, as highlighted in the paper given to you, you can look at it. But the average percentage of female in the federal civil service from 2001 to 2006 was 31.28 percent, while that of male was 68.72 percent. The average employment rate in the economy for females for the same period was 20.42 percent, while that of men was 79.58 percent. And since no significant, uh, significant employment exercise has been conducted into the service since then, the wide disparity remains. Similarly, appointments to boards of the federal enterprises and parastatals in that period show 86 for female and 747 for males. Statistics for current elective positions in the National Assembly between the year 2007 to 2011 also des demonstrate that the presence of female political office holders is significantly less than that of males though there has been little changes between 1997 and 2007. In the 2007 to 2011 National Assembly, um, female hold, females hold only 35 seats. That is 7.5%. That means only 28 females for the 360 member house of representatives and 90 female, and nine females, I beg your pardon, in 109 member Senate. At the state level, between the same period, combined membership of the Houses of Assembly revealed a grand total of 53 female as against 913 males. In athletics, those following sporting news can easily compare the level of support given to the Nigerian senior national football team vis-a-vis -vis the token support extended to our victorious female on the 20 and on the 17 teams at the World Cup competition this year. Thus, on balance, gender inequalities still characterize most of the development sectors in Nigeria. Some sectors shows, show worsening situation for women, such as political participation, employment, and poverty. <coughs> In the years ahead, it is in the society's collective interest to provide women better and wider opportunities to actualize their potentials and boost their contributions to national development. In this regard, I strongly advocate the following. One, that there is need for evidence-based policies for the attainment of gender equitable growth. Two, the relevant authorities at all tiers of governance as well as civil society organizations should invest increasingly in the education of the girl child and there should be strong legislation against marriage to underage girls all through the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Three, with the growing population of the unemployed, macro and micro and medium enterprises, which have become the bedrocks of most economies, should be encouraged to promote entrepreneurial development among women and empower them to nurture future women entrepreneurs. In this light, the relevant institutions should be ex exhorted to be more gender sensitive in the fulfillment of their mandates. These include the Small and Medium Enterprises Development Agency of Nigeria Smedan, Nigerian Di Directorate of Employment, NDE, Nigerian Poverty Eradication Program, NAPEP, and the Microfinance Acts. Four, because women cooperatives constitute a powerful tool of integrating women into the mainstream of economic development, efforts should be made to revitalize them in order to achieve the desired effect. Five, to create pressure groups in the state and federal levels and press for the inclusion of women, more women, in political offices. In the high time, countries being, begin to implement the 1995, um, it is high time that uh, countries began to implement the 1995 Beijing Conference Declaration 
that 30% of governmental positions should be set aside for women. Um, six, actively sponsor women interested in offices through training, funding, community mobilization, and electoral monitoring. Notwithstanding the challenges faced by women in the last 50 years, I believe women have made tremendous impact and they will continue to do so in our strides to move the country forward. At this point, I would like to add that um, you, the Nigerian community in Finland, have been fortunate to have acquired your education, and some are still in school, in a country where the emancipation and empowerment of women is, is at its peak. Uh, we are at the, um, the office at uh, Helsinki today, at the, the city office. And um, it was heartwarming to know that you don't have a Ministry of Women Affairs, but of um, 